Welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i'm lisa nice to meet you make sure you subscribe to join our family um, and to stay updated with whenever i post i've been wearing a fake septum ring in my nose for the past couple videos but this one is the real deal <laughs> about two days ago i got my septum pierced and a lot of you had questions about it and wanted me to kind of talk about it instead of answering like everyone individually which is going to take forever i told you guys to ask me questions and i have them on my phone right here i'm just going to answer them and talk about it so i'm just going to get started if you want to know about my septum piercing the experience everything else then just keep on watching so the first question is where did you get it done and i got it done at body cold in utrecht i basically went there to the city anyways because i had a meeting about something and well, not a meeting more like an appointment <laughs> and um uh, the day before i was like googling like oh is there like a piercing shop in utrecht and I found that one and it looked really good so I was like I'm just gonna get it done after the appointment and that's what I did the second question is how much did it cost it cost me about 65 euros which it's kind of expensive for a piercing but I'm not like I don't regret paying that much because you can really notice like the quality of the shop and like the way she did it and just this like I don't know customer service I guess I just think she did it really well and i yeah it was also really clean there like it was just a really nice place so i don't mind it how much did it hurt from one to ten and how did it feel well the pain i would say obviously it's not painless like i feel like every person kind of hurts um although with my tongue like it barely did but it definitely hurt for a little bit but it was only like one or two seconds it was so so fast i would say on a scale of one to ten maybe like a four or five but only for like two seconds and then it was done and then when she put in the jewelry i thought that was gonna hurt like a bitch but it, it didn't feel like anything i didn't feel that and how did it feel it just felt uncomfortable she told me to close my eyes which kind of helped with like the watering it, they didn't water a whole lot only like a tiny bit some people like legit have like tears running down their face but it wasn't the case for me how long did the piercing process take? Literally, it was so fast. I'll actually insert a clip right here, um, which you'll basically, at first she was like talking to me about whatever she was gonna do and she was getting stuff ready. And then she put the clamp on, which felt kind of uncomfortable. And then she was like, okay, it's coming. And then as soon as she put the needle in, I like breathed it out. I suggest doing that anyways. Like before they go in, breathe in. And then as they're doing it, breathe out and i did that and it went through quite fast and then she put the jewelry in and then it was pretty much done so it was really fast were there other jewelry designs you could get so i didn't really ask for these but when i went in i already talked about how i wanted to be able to flip it in she just used this one i didn't really look at anything else uh, you probably could have you just asked like what jewelry designs can i pick from choose from whatever um, and what I really liked is obviously she was like helping me put it in and show me how to do it And at first it wouldn't go so she had to like make the ring a bit wider But she really like kept going until she got it perfect and like showed me this is how you put it in This is how you take it out, this is what it looks like when it's in, blah 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 And actually earlier today I had to go get my passport pictures taken And I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to have it so I just flipped it in actually don't know if you're allowed to have it in your picture but i just decided to flip it in and it hurt a tiny bit because it's still a little bit sensitive um, in like one spot but besides that like it was so easy and then i just took it out again how do you take care of it and avoid an infection so they recommended to me to use like a sea salt solution at night they also sold it at the store for like five bucks extra but i know how to make it so i was like no it's fine so what i do is in the morning i just take some q-tips and like warm water and just kind of go around it just like soften it get rid of any crusties and i kind of move it around a little bit and then at night i cook some water like in like um thing that cooks water like boils it what am i saying boil water not cook water <laughs> i boiled water and then i just put some sea salt in a little cup and then put the hot water in stirred it around till the sea salt was dissolved and then i just cleaned it with that and just make sure you clean it twice a day 
and definitely do the sea salt thing. Um, and just don't touch it too much with dirty hands. Like wash your hands before you touch it. And just don't touch it too much in general. And like if you're not cleaning it, don't try to like twist it or move it. Because if crusties get inside of the like wound, like the hole, that's that can cause an infection. Don't you think you're going to regret it in a few years? I put this question in because I found it kind of funny. But I mean, piercings, most of them they're not permanent like you if you take them out you're not gonna see a scar some of them you do but most of them you don't with this one first of all i can flip it in so if i don't want to have it for a day it's fine if i decide to take it out you're not gonna see any anything so i'm not gonna regret it because if i get tired of it in a year i can just take it out and we're good has there been any complications well i've only had it for two days so not really it's been pretty nice the only thing that i noticed is it's hard because like i can't blow my nose if you have like a booger i know it's like nasty or whatever i mean i don't care but you have to like really carefully try to get rid of it but you can't blow your nose so that can be kind of tricky and i have my tissue kind of gets stuck behind the ring and that kind of hurts so how long will it take for the piercing to heal so i actually didn't ask this um i'm pretty sure it's on the paper that they gave me but since i told them that i've already gotten like piercings they were like really chill with me if you're like a newbie to piercings i'm sure they will tell you everything so i'm actually gonna google once you have your septum pierced complete healing can take up to six to eight months but you may go easy after months. Septum piercing pain generally goes away after three weeks. Well, I don't think it really hurts much. So right now, like I can pretty much like doing this is kind of sensitive. Um, if you push it really hard, that's gonna hurt. But like moving it around doesn't hurt. Moving your nose doesn't hurt. Yawning doesn't hurt. Sneezing, all of that doesn't really hurt. And I remember with my regular like nostril piercing, all of that hurt really bad. So the pain really isn't very bad if it's done right anyways because it's supposed to go in like this soft spot in your septum because there's like cartilage but there's also like it's still cartilage but it's like a really soft spot and that's where it's supposed to go in because when i walked in she actually had to feel if i could get it done and she was like yeah you're good the last question is what did your mom say when she saw it my mom well i was wearing the fake one for a while and i told her like i'm gonna get it done she was like, okay and then i was in utrecht with my friend and she had been like texting me like hey did you you know get to your destination or whatever and i hadn't replied yet because i had my data turned off and then after our appointment i went straight to the piercing shop and then after i got it done i was in the bus and i went to call her i was like oh, i want to get my nose here she was like i knew it i knew you were gonna do it and then i got home and she's like oh i mean she doesn't really care i don't think she hates it because she would be like oh i don't like it but i think she's just like fine with it and she likes it i can flip it in because she was like is it like okay for work i was like yeah i can flip it in so it's fine my mom doesn't really care I, like i have tattoos on my fingers like she really she just lets me do my own thing because she knows that even if she'd say don't do it i'm still gonna do it and <laughs> so yeah so that's it for this video i got really comfortable right here <laughs> um thank you for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe of course also turn on my post notifications that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video and follow me on my social medias have it down below i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video